do you know that the premiers of New South Wales and Victoria have joined the call for improved skilled migration from understaffed areas? Leaders across business, health and tourism are calling on the new federal government to speed up approvals for skilled visa applications as they struggle with crippling labour shortages across the country. For detailed information watch this video till the end and yes like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Warm welcome from Brain Drain Consultants to our Immigration Information and News Channel, a 2Z Immigration Updates. As the Premiers of New South Wales and Victoria unite in their calls for urgent action to approve more visas, industry leaders said longer-term plans should be made to train more Australians to fill roles to safeguard industries from future shocks. Groups, including the Business Council of Australia, have also pushed for migration levels to be raised over the next two years to make up for the slump in incoming foreign workers during the pandemic. The Australian Hotels Association's head, Stephen Ferguson, said the decision to preclude foreign nationals from the JobKeeper scheme was partly to blame for the loss of workers from the industry in 2020. He said that they all had to go home and now they are in a global race with a whole heap of other countries trying to get these skills back as everyone opens up. NSW Premier, Dominic Perrottet, this week said his focus was not on raising caps or targets but rather on getting the right people into the country quickly with a targeted migration scheme. He said that whether it's construction, whether it's many of the public service areas that they have where they are struggling for those skills because they've had their international borders closed for two years. He has also said the NSW government and Victoria's Premier, Daniel Andrews, will be working very closely together with the Prime Minister to address that, and it needs to be addressed as soon as possible. A Victorian government spokesperson said it looked forward to working with the new federal government, saying it had a clear commitment to tackling the skills and workforce shortage challenges across the economy. Hospitals and other health services have been among the sectors struggling with labour shortages, exacerbated by extra pressure from the early flu season, persistently high Covid cases and the long elective procedure backlog. In NSW about 2,500 healthcare workers across the state were furloughed at any one time. Australian Medical Association's president, Dr Omar Khorshid, called on the federal government to expand its very limited policy to make it easier to recruit overseas trained doctors. The Australian Education Union's federal president, Karenya Haythorpe, said teacher shortages in public schools predated COVID but were particularly difficult now due to illness-related absences. The Albanese government needed to focus on a national plan to reduce teacher shortages, describing it as a crisis. The Australian Retailers Association's chief executive, Paul Zara, said some companies were being forced to operate with skeletal staff and limited opening hours. In February there were almost 30,000 retail vacancies across the country, and the ARA expected that to keep climbing in a range of positions. He said that while many of these are frontline roles, they are seeing a parallel skills crisis, with specialist skill sets such as e-commerce, digital transformation and merchandise planning in high demand. We hope you appreciate our efforts to provide important and accurate immigration information. Please share your feedback and suggestions in the comments section. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, to show your support and yes don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for your valuable time, and we hope to see you again soon with another video. If you need any further assistance or want to discuss anything related to your immigration dreams, then you can book an expert consultation session with our team of registered migration consultants.